Hey Divas, welcome or welcome back to another Vlogmas video. I'm so excited that you have tuned in and I'm so, so excited that you guys have been watching my budgeting series, how I set up my monthly budget. I know a few videos have been a little long, but I really want to give you guys detail on how I set up my monthly budget. So the final step in my monthly budget process is my weekly check-in to see how I did with my variable expenses. So if that sounds like something you wanna see, then stay tuned. Okay, Divas, well, if you remembered, you guys, I walked you through how I set this page up. Um, as you can see from the red, this is me actually going in and seeing, uh, writing down my actual expenses. Just give you a quick walkthrough of some things we've done previously. You know I set up my sinking funds and savings tracker, um, my monthly snapshot on the places where I'm going to be spending major money this month. Also, um, we went through my monthly goals and things I was going to be spending money on. Again, just a little bit more detail. We went through my monthly budget. Again, you can see I started going back as the transaction started hitting. I went back and I sort of put the actual amount because when I'm setting up my budget, I usually just use round numbers and then I'll actually come in and put the exact final step besides the expense trackers, this weekly check-in. So this is a weekly check-in, guys, that I also created where we're gonna just write down all my budgeting categories. And as you can see right here along the top, I just have week one through five. So instead of me trying to create a weekly check-in every week, this is just a one-stop shop. So at the end of the month, I could just kind of total out each of my categories. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill in all my categories and I'll be right back. Okay, so I filled in all my categories. I do not have any more December month stickers, so I'm gonna have to write it in, girl. So because this is a page I'm gonna visit quite frequently, at least every week, let me just bring it some joy. This is just a little, a little Christmas joy. So let's go ahead and get to it. So these are all of the categories that I, these are all my budgeting categories. And if you can remember back to my monthly budget, it's pretty much coincides with each of, each of my budgeting sections. Um, if you wanna see me create my category and explain to you what I have under each category, I'll do a separate video for that as well. Okay, so let's see how we did and how we're gonna see how I did. All I'm going to do is write down everything that I actually budgeted for and what I spent. Simple as that, okay? Particularly as it pertains to my variable expenses. So the first week in budgeting, I was extremely busy. busy. Remember I told you guys like this first week was kind of crazy. It was only like four days and I, I had a lot going on. By now, hopefully you would have seen the blog the vlog of me during the first week of the month. So I really didn't get to grocery shop or meal plan and all of that. So it actually reflected in my budget. I spent more on nothing. You ever go to the grocery store and you're like, how do I spend this and I can't even put two meals together? Well, that's exactly what happened to me these first four days, okay? I spent, I believe, way too much and I have nothing to show for it. So this week I will be back on track. So let's see how much I have left. 20... 40, 60, 80, 1, 121, okay? So, what I do here, I just put this money in my cash tray, and at the end, we'll go over it and figure that out. So, I must owe myself some money, because I see I budgeted 200, but on my thing, it says I spent $135.09. So I should have $64. So that means I step, use my card somewhere along the line, me or my husband. So let me just write down what I spent here. $135. I'm just going to use whole numbers here. So technically, I only have $64 left. One, two, three. I don't have any change right now. Okay, and the rest of this goes back to the bank because I spent my card on some of this. My husband probably ran to the store and bought something and clearly he's not gonna have my wallet. So this goes back to my card. 
eating out. You guys remember that I, I missed, I ain't have a whole envelope. If you saw my previous video, I forgot to create an envelope, but I went back and I created one. So there's obviously nothing in here because I didn't have an envelope to stuff, but I did spend some money on eating out, okay? I spent $38. But remember, I did budget for it, so I just had it on my card versus cash. So I spent $38. Next is household, I spent $36. And I budgeted $80. Um, a lot of that, let's just see what's in here. I believe was on my card. Yep, I still have my $20, my $40 here. So I'm going to keep this, put this right here. Okay, miscellaneous, I budgeted $10 and I spent zero. Let's see if my envelope agrees with that. Five, yep, I still got this ugly one dollar. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It sure it does. So five. Okay. My kids, I didn't budge anything for them this week. So zero, and their envelope is going to be empty as well. Personal, now this was a big one. This was a big one. I budgeted $351. I got my nails done, and I had my hair done. My husband got a haircut. We did all the things, okay? We did all the things, girl. And I spent $341. Let's hope I have $9 up in this joint. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, I do. Okay. I just love when my math be mathing. Like, it makes life so much easier for me. Okay. Next is holiday fun. So this was like a last edition. Um, I was going to dinner with my sister, or I did go to dinner with my sister. And I thought we were going to go grab some wings, but I just told her, Let's do something a little different. So we went to P.F. Chang's, girl. So I spent $75. And that I had to use my card. So I'm clearly over in that category. 20, 40, 50, 60. Yeah. So none of this money belongs to me. Um, I got to pay my card back. And the reason I'm short in this envelope is because some of that eating out, I used cash and I really I didn't have cash for that envelope. So I took it out of holiday fund because I knew that I actually spent that money on my card. So I had the money to use. So it just kind of uh, worked out, okay? Next is gas. Gas this week, we spent $50. Okay. That I use my card for 60. All I have is 60. So this is the money that I have to pay myself back with. So I'm just going to take $10 change. Okay, and I'll put this back here. Okay. Next category. Okay, what's the next category? Bank run. Given. Given. Remember, I kind of I did forget. So I had three dollars in here. So I still have three dollars in here. I'm just gonna keep that in here and I'll be sure when I do my weekly expenses to um, use that. And for coffee, I mentioned in my previous video, I had money left on my Starbucks app, so I did not have to have any coffee. So usually I would stop right here with writing down my weekly expenses, but since you guys have been invested in my budget setup, I'm gonna go ahead and fill out the rest of the categories and kind of tell you guys how I did for my first week. So my income this week was twelve thousand five. We're gonna round up to five hundred nine. So for my home, all the categories that I have underneath my home category added up to be. I just covered up the income sources, which you can see these are my projected budgets, and this is the actual income that we got in. So for the categories, I'm just again everything in red is exactly what I paid for. So I'm just writing down my actual expenses versus what I budgeted for. Okay. So under my home category, which is like my mortgage, my light bill, water, et cetera, all of that, for these first few days, we spent 3,000, zero, zero. I'm gonna just round that up. Five, 
for debt this week. And I did make that extra debt payment I said I was gonna make. So for debt this week, I spent $707. When you see car wash, $35, that's, um, we have a monthly subscription to that. $35. Now, I separate, like, my other car expenses from my gas, because I, I want to really track independently what I spent on gas. This week, we had nothing on insurances, nothing due this week. For the holidays, $15.74. Um, this is called a $16, since we're going to round. Okay, let's check out subscriptions. Okay, so we spent about $63 on subscriptions this week. Um, investing in my trading, I spent $15.56. My business, I spent $32. Okay, sinking funds and savings challenges are right here. So for, now I added more. If you saw my previous video, I had like extra rollover money, but I'm not counting that. I'm just counting the money that I actually budgeted, okay? So for my sinking funds, and this, this part of my weekly check-in, I just added these two categories just, just so you guys can see that I really try to account for every, every dollar. I did 330 for sinking funds and for savings. So there you have it. This is all the money that I spent the first week in December. Now let's go and talk about what we're gonna do with all this cash we just pulled out of our wallets. So first, I want to take care of the money I owe myself. Okay, let's just go ahead and do that. Oh, I gotta get this money right, okay. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 10, 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So 127 I spent on my card at some point during this first week. So what I do is this, I just put that in this bank run envelope. So I know I need to pay myself back this $127, okay? Now for the rest. So let's see how much we have left. Okay, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, that's 160, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, so 1, 73, go, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 50, 65, 70, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eighty, one, two, three, one, eighty three. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one, twenty, forty, fifty, fifty five, sixty, sixty one, sixty two, sixty three, sixty four, sixty five, sixty six, sixty seven, sixty eight, sixty nine, seventy, it's one seventy, one seventy one, seventy two, seventy three. So we have a hundred and seventy three dollars. So typically what I would do is I would roll this over and put everything towards my savings challenge. But your girl, we had goals this month, right? And we had action steps to meet those goals. Let me just go back and refresh our memory here. So one of our goals this month was to pay off this card and I was gonna do that by using half of my rollover per week to put towards this card. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So, 173 divided by two, $86. So we're gonna put $86 of this towards that debt. 20, 40, 
I made a little folder here for that. I put it right in the front so I don't forget. Now, I don't know if this is gonna be a permanent envelope in my process, but for this month and for this goal, I created an envelope, okay? And the rest of the money will go towards my savings challenges. Let's see how much we have. 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87. Okay, great. So we have $87 to put towards our savings challenge next time we do a savings challenge stuffing. Well, Divas, that was it. Hopefully today was a quick and short one and you saw the final sheet in my monthly budget system. Um, it's not overwhelming. I think every page that I have in that workbook is, uh, is usable sheets, right? Things that we need to do to track and monitor our expenses. So that's how I did for week one. You definitely want to stay for week two when I do the cash stuffing for that and budgeting for week two in my next video. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for sticking to the series. If you haven't seen any of the previous other videos, I'll be sure to link those down below. So you definitely want to start from video one all the way up back to this one so you can kind of see how I build upon my budget every month. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell because it's Vlogmas and your girl is dropping a video every day and I don't want you to miss it. So thanks for tuning in. Later.